What do you want to watch? Oh, why don't you pick? Okay, how about comedy? Eh, I already laughed today. <laughs> I know, it was when I stubbed my toe. <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> Drama? Nah, I've already seen someone cry today. It really hurt, Sheldon. <laughs> hey, we talked to Colonel Williams. He told us everything. Uh, so can, can we do this another time? Amy's just about to realize she wants to watch a Hulk marathon. <laughs> What's going on? Sheldon went to the Air Force behind our backs. I did nothing of the sort. I had an idea for a neutrino-based communication system. I presented it to them, and they were interested. But your, your communication system was based on our guidance system. And sonar is based on bats. You don't see them hanging upside down in a patent attorney's office. <laughs> You know what? You like to think that you're just like Tesla, but the truth is, you're exactly like Edison. You take that back. No. He's right. You are a bully, a credit hog, and a self-promoter. And if anyone around here is like Tesla, it's us. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe they said I was just like Edison? Getting in front of a lady, no less. But you are building on their work and taking the credit for it. That's a classic Edison move. Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm Edison and you love me, then what does that say about you? I honestly don't know. OK, well, I have to Google some stuff about Mrs. Edison. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know whose fault this is? I do, yours. <laughs> no, my mother's. Go make friends, Sheldon. What happens? 20 years later, they call me names. I don't think what they called you is the point here. Oh, yeah? Well, how would you feel if I called you the name of a neuroscientist you didn't like? Do you know the name of any neuroscientist? Of course. Not me? <laughs> then no. <laughs> Do you think they're right, Amy? Do you think I'm like Edison? Sheldon... I don't think you're upset because of what kind of scientist they said you're like. I think you're upset because your friend's feelings got hurt. You're right. I care too much about other people's feelings. <laughs> it's always been my fatal flaw. Shall I don't think... No, 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 now, Amy, I'm growing as a person. <laughs> so what do you think? Can you make it work? Uh, I just need to use the cross section to calculate the probability of the interaction. Can we help? Yes. Why don't you want to get me a can of Pringles? <laughs> Leonard, I was... What's Kripke doing here? Well, he's just helping us develop a better, more efficient neutrino comm system that we're going to pitch to the military, making yours obsolete. Yeah, Leonard thought of it. It's genius. Oh, thanks. You, you see, instead of using liquid helium... Good God, man! Shut up! Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't tell me we were doing this just to stick it to Sheldon. Oh, well, I'm messing with you. This Sunday just got a cherry on top. <laughs> Fine. Uh, good luck to you. The military's already interested in my system, and my math has worked out. His still has a big gap in it. Where? There. <laughs> Based on Kripke's calculations, I think this is going to work. Maybe we should pitch it to Colonel Williams today. Why limit ourselves to the U.S. military? I bet there's a lot of other places we could take this. Without committing criminal espionage? You know, it's easy to shoot an idea down, Leonard. <laughs> well, I suppose congratulations are in order. You set out to destroy me, and you achieved your goal. What are you talking about? The military canceled my project because they're going with yours. That's... Impossible. We haven't even pitched it yet. Well, Colonel Williams said another team at Caltech came up with a more efficient neutrino comm system. Damn it. Excuse us. Kripke. What's up, fellas? Did you screw us over? Ooh, I can't tell you that. It's classified. 